improper and mixed fractions. Write the following as improper and mixed fractions. So I'll shade some of them in color green and you have to write it in improper and mixed fractions. Okay, so here we go. So in this particular shape, I am shading half of the first one. Right? And in the other one, I am shading more than half. If I shade more than half and add them together, then we get more than a whole. Do you understand? We get more than a whole, right? So, where do we land? We land into improper and mixed fractions, correct? Think that this green is not there, okay? So, neglect it. So, basically what I've done here is that we have circle which is divided into eight equal parts. So, I've shaded four here and seven here. So, you, you have to write them as improper fractions and as mixed fractions, right? So, that is your first question. Now, I'll do a similar thing for question number two. And take your time to write down your answer while I shade them. Think about it. And once I have shaded this also, I will tell you the answer. But I expect you to write down your answer before I even start my work. Okay? So I am still shading this one. So I have already shaded two holes, right? And in the third one, how many do you want me to shade? Okay, let me shade just these two, or rather one third of this. Okay, so you have to write them as improper and mixed fractions. I hope some of you have got the answer already. Here is how I will do them. So let's think about it. So we have this circle, which is divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts, right? So every part is eighth. So every part is eighth. So how many eighths do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 eighths. Since numerator is greater than denominator, it is called improper fraction. Correct? Why is numerator greater than denominator? We are actually considering two holes, not just one. So when you consider more than one whole, then you get improper fraction. That is how you get improper fraction. So this is improper fraction. So why is it improper? Can you answer that question? It is improper because numerator is greater than what? Denominator, right? So that is why it is called improper fraction. And uh, why do we have so? Why is it so? It is because we consider more than one shape. Do you see that? More than one shape or one figure or one hole. Or you can say one hole. Do you understand? So that is why we get improper fractions. Now, how can I write this improper fraction as a mixed fraction? That is the exercise for you. So, how can I write this as a mixed fraction? Can you tell me that? What is the trick to do it? So, now we will consider how can I write this as mixed fraction. Now, mixed fraction is something which has a whole number let's say in this case it will be one and a part of fraction right so that is a mixed mixed fractions has whole number and fraction plus fraction do you see that that becomes mixed fraction so mixed fraction is also more than one right so whenever you consider more than one whole you land into improper and mixed fractions now the trick is like this. What we will do is, we will try to fill one up. So let's take this from here and put it in there. So what do we have? 
we have one hole right since we placed one piece from here and filled the other one so we can write this as 11 out of 8 or also equals to one hole and if I remove from here and put it there how many 8's do I have 1 2 3 so we get 3 out of 8 here so that is how we can write the same figure or illustration as a mixed number and as improper fraction correct now let's do this one that one is straight done already for you two holes right let me write this as two holes and one two out of how many one two three four five six two out of six right so that is how you can write this as a mixed fraction it is a mixed fraction since it has a whole number and a fraction do you see that can you write this as improper fraction yes of course you just have to count how many sixths do you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and one fourteen so we have fourteen six so that is our answer and that is how we do it I hope is absolutely clear to you and now we'll move on and see how do we do conversion of improper to mixed and mixed to improper without the help of illustration thank you